Look here, everybody. Not sure what kind of mushroom these are. Don't know if they're edible or not. They're getting a little on the dry side. But anyhow, there's them there and these here on this tree. Those are really dry. Anybody tell me what they are? I'll have to look up on the internet and see if I can see what kind of mushrooms these are. I'm just up here in my pasture walking around. I should say pasture slash timber. It used to be pasture and now it's all trees. As you can see, some of you have been up here with me before, hunt, mushroom hunting. Anyways, I thought I'd walk up here. It's a nice, warm, sunny day. And Penny and I, she's on up there. I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, she's standing right back there. But anyways, we're just up here walking, getting a little exercise. <clears throat> and I was thinking that maybe I'd come across some deer sheds or something. My son-in-law and my daughter was out looking for deer sheds yesterday. The antlers that fell off the deer. They'd be losing their antlers this time of year and start growing the new ones for this fall but anyhow so that's what I'm doing I'm just up here messing around I want to talk to you about jumping on the bandwagon um, my sister she's been calling me the last few days and asking me questions about canning um, she's going to be getting some chickens and she asked me if I'd help her build a chicken house so I'm gonna be doing that I'm gonna show you these berries the juniper berries uh, these are on the cedar trees up here in my pasture I've used them for Seasoning, I've cooked a roast and put some of them in the roast. Man, that gives it a good wild flavor. So if you guys got an opportunity to pick some of them, uh, they're good for seasoning food and stuff. I think the Indians used to, or politically correct, Native Americans used to use them for flavoring their food back in the day. Some of them might still do it today, who knows. But anyhow, I've used them and it gives the uh, meat a really good flavor. But anyhow, back on to jumping on the bandwagon. My sister's been calling me. I get easily sidetracked. And she's been asking me about canning because she knows I plant a garden. She's been asking me about the garden. Um, she asked me if I'd come over and till up an area at her place for a garden because she don't have a tiller. So I got to do that this hair within, I don't know, a few months so she can get a garden planted. She called me today and she's out shopping. Sorry about the lighting, sun keeps hitting you. But she's out shopping today for canning jars. She's calling me and asking me about the different brands of canning lids and jars. If a certain brand's a good if it's a good uh, quality lid and stuff on some of these jars because she plans on basically jumping on the bandwagon that I've been trying to tell her to do for a long time. I've been trying to tell her to plant a garden, uh, be prepared, get some vegetables, quit eating this food that has bioengineered ingredients or bioengineered food in the ingredients in some of this stuff and that's why everybody's 
having health issues, that and getting the vax. Um, that's one thing she didn't do. She don't believe in it. Uh, she has a few medical issues. Um, doctors were wanting to put her on a bunch of different pills. And of course she listened to them even though she preaches not to use that stuff. She felt the need to try the doctor's uh, advice and get on a bunch of different medication. And she said she felt better before she ever got on the medication to take care of her health issues than what she did before she ever started taking them. So she quit taking them and now she feels better again. And then she started turning to natural remedies, you know, different herbs and stuff like that, essential oils and whatnot. But anyways, now she's decided she's gonna plant her own garden, try uh, growing as much of her own food as she can. And I've been telling her for the last several years she needs to do it. And so now today she's out buying jars, asked me about a canner, and I said, don't buy one, I have a couple of them, I'll give you one. She talked about a pressure cooker, and I said, well, if you plan on canning some meat, and of course she's like me, she has a freezer to store her meat in, but like she said, what happens if the grid was to go down, or just the fact you lose electricity, or your freezer quits on you, what are you gonna do with that food? You gonna go run out and buy a new freezer? Maybe, if the supply's there. Um, sometimes that's appliances are on back order, you know, you go to get a new appliance and they're on back order. They don't have the model you want or don't have one at all. So what are you going to do? Let the meat go bad? Or are you going to get your canner out and start canning it? So that's what she's thinking about, thinking ahead and saying, well, just in case my freezer's to quit, at least I can pull the meat out of the freezer and hurry up and can it and still preserve it and be able to eat it. But anyhow... I think it's kind of cool that she's finally jumping on the bandwagon, nothing wrong with it. I told her that I'm a lot happier uh, living simple like I have been. A lot of you know that I don't carry a regular job, I do a little scrapping. I scrounge around and find the things I need, I repurpose stuff. I get all my animal feed for free other than the gas to go and get in it. I scoop up beans and corn that gets spilt in the fields and beans over at the bean plant where my wife works. And supply feed for my pigs and my chickens. I have that walk behind tractor and baler. I put up my own hay. I mow the road ditches and bale that. And the brome grass in the road ditches. I have grass up here in my pasture and areas. Trees are pretty much taking it over, but there are some areas that I can mow and bale. So I'm not shelling out money for hay for my horses. But if I had goats, I'd have that hay to feed goats and I'd have my own goat milk. And so, you know, being able to do that stuff for yourself is a blessing. And not like I said, not everybody can do it, but there's some of that stuff that you can do for yourself. You just got to choose to jump on the bandwagon. So, those of you that are not on the bandwagon, feel free to jump on. Nobody's going to ridicule you about it. Matter of fact, they'll be more than happy to give you advice and help you out. Well, I'm not going to ramble any longer. I'm going to let you all go. But if you're not on the bandwagon, be free, feel free to jump on. We're here to support you. See you all later. And don't forget I love you. Bye.